the Chicago Bears and Mike Ditka. As a player, he was what tough is all about. And now, as a coach, he embodies the unmistakable image of the Chicago Bears. Ditka's Bears, no quarter at. No quarter given, the monsters of the midway. Teams with fire in the belly. Teams coached by Mike Ditka. I love to see physical football. I love to see people hit people. That's what it is, man. And people don't like that. They shouldn't watch it. You hit them fair, square, within the rules of the game, but you hit them because that's how you earn respect. Tonight, Mike Ditka's 3-0 Bears will certainly have that respect. He may be less emotional now, but he's definitely in control. There is no question. These are Mike Ditka's Chicago Bears. I am who I am. I mean, I, I do things a certain way. Uh, whether people like them or accept them or not, I can't really worry about that because I think that's the way I'm supposed to do them. Uh, you know, I think I was put here for a purpose, and, and I'm doing, I'm fulfilling the purpose. So, Bears, a lot of people were shocked and surprised when the Bears picked Harbaugh number one in 1987. Now, clearly the start. Anderson on a sweep. And a flag is thrown as Anderson gets to the 20. He is submarine by Lonnie Young. Again, Waddle, who's been in motion on all three plays. The Jets nearly jumped, but there's no flag. And now there's a flag after the throw is made. Muster makes the catch, and there are three. So after all that and all of the markers, we're back to second and 17. That's James Rouse now in the backfield. They take the draw to him, and Harbaugh has to unload. And Waddle makes the catch at the 33 as James Hasty makes the tackle. So the Jets were coming, and Harbaugh got rid of it. Mercero put the pressure on, but Harbaugh, very cool and poised, picks up a... Obviously, both of them thinking the other guy was going to take him. Here's the pressure up the middle. There's Mercero dumping Harbaugh, who never sees this completion. But look how wide open Waddle is downfield. I mean, that is just a plain blow in the Jets' secondary. They are at the Jet 27-yard line. That's James Rouse in motion. And they give it to Neil Anderson. And Anderson takes it to the 24-yard line, or he is stopped by Lagerman. Welcome back, sir. Yeah. Thank you. The plumbing is all intact once again. Yeah, you can do the rep. I go at the Jet 23-yard line. Harbaugh. Great protection and wide open, making the catch at the 17. is Tom Waddle, and he is out of bounds at the 12. Lonnie Young makes the tackle. Well, you hate to say uh, that Waddle is an overachiever because I think that's an overused term, but he just seems to get it done. He's not fast. He's not big. Watch number 87 out of Boston College, a free agent. Finds the open spot. The key to it, of course, Harbaugh had the time to get it to him. Frank, he's not big or he's not fast. I'm wondering if he's invisible. The way he's running through the Jets secondary, and, and, and they're not really paying any attention to Waddle. I mean, that's the second time that he has been just wide open on a, a new look. The same result. Kevin Butler's kick is a bouncer. Fielded at the seven-yard line by Terrence Mathis. And Mathis breaks Whoa. it all the way out to the 45-yard line. Good run back on first down. O'Brien with the three wideouts into the pattern. He hits Al Toon, and Toon takes it to the 26-yard line. So he comes off a week in which he can't they caught eight balls against Buffalo. And two and a half after the penalty and three and a half for the touchdown. Baxter gets to the three and William Perry Baxter is there with a tackle. Perry. I think on that face mask, it's an interesting call on that face mask. It would have given them a first down normally, but on half the distance, they don't charge you with the down. And that's why it was still first down. It was first and two and a half, and you almost never see that. Good move by Perry there, sliding off the block to Chattigan. Amazingly quick at, what was the estimate, Mike Pressure? He's a good athlete. Anderson and Rouse are in the backfield from the 27-yard line. And Harbaugh has to pull it down and take off. And he's tackled at the 29 by James Hasty after a gain of two. Is still out. Mattis is the left tackle 75, and Brad Muster is out of the game again. He's been bothered by a hamstring pull. Neil Anderson finds some room and takes it out to the 37-yard line. 
close to a first down, and James Rouse, who was the man in there in place of Muster, paved the way with a nice block. Three and a half to go in the quarter. Game time, 3-3. First down, Chicago, 37-yard line. Here's Anderson. Neal loves to run left. Casey runs him out of bounds. Rouse again leading. O'Brien losing it for Moore, who's out in front, and he makes the catch and is out of bounds at the five-yard line. Oh, did he get both feet in? Well, no, no, they'll look at that one again, but that was a great catch on the part of Rob Moore. Second and nine, throws a sideline pattern, caught by Wendell Davis, Stargell with the coverage on the play, enough for a first down, and it's a pretty even first quarter on the scoreboard, and the other week, first and ten. respected as a running team, excuse me, from the 27-yard line, as Waddle is in motion. They swing it out for Rouse. What a nice little move that he puts on Hasty, and then he loses the football, and the Jets have come away with it. The play is over, but it's recovered by Lonnie Young. Down on the field. Let's watch it here from behind the play. All right, now there's Rouse. Hasty's there first, but watch Joe Kelly coming in, number 58. Well, no, actually, he was going across the front, and then it was Kyle Clifton, I think, with a hit from behind that actually got the ball out. I don't know who could have finished it. First down, Chicago. After the missed Leahy field goal, game time, 3-3. Harbaugh starts to slip, but gets it away to Rouse, who fumbled the last time he caught the pass. And again, the the Bears are minus Brad Muster, who played on the first series. Muster missed the first two games. That's just that's an extraordinary kicking percentage and accuracy by Pat Leahy. Second and six. And Harbaugh dives, and let's see where they spot it. This is going to be very close to the marker. What do you call that move? Jim Harbaugh voluntarily goes down, and he may have been a little... It's a first down. It's Gene Thornton coming out of the backfield and lining up on the left side. Rouse and Anderson behind Harbaugh, and again, the Bears to the air, and the catch is made by Thornton, the tight end, and a first down to New York 46-yard line. Here just dropping the Jets just dropping into his zone and Thornton finding the open spot. Harbaugh is right in sync with him. Lots of time to get rid of it. And Thornton just in the gap between defenders. Darren Lewis is now in the game. He's a rookie out of Texas A&M, number 33, the running back for Chicago. And they give him some early work, and he gets an early greeting from Dennis Bird <laughs> at the 45-yard line. And a Kyle Clifton right there with Bird. That's Third and nine. Harbaugh throws, and it's Davis making the catch, but he is short of the first down. Tony Stargell right there. So Wendell Davis is at the other end of that pass. But it's at the 39-yard line, and they had to get to the 35. Thornton in motion. Thornton makes the catch, and that's an 8-yard gain after the 37-yard line. You know, guys, looking at, at that shot Craig gave us there of the outside of uh, Soldier Field. Usual things to talk about. Eric McMillan has come in to take Young's place on second down, and the catch is made at the 39-yard line by Thornton, who then fights for a first down. He was originally two yards short, and now he moves the sticks. Mo Lewis makes the hit. Well, that was a good catch, too, because Harbaugh had it behind him, and then he almost was stripped from the football, and he held on, fought his way for first down yardage. It's all set up by the play-action fake by Harbaugh, and then he rolls to his right. But, but look at this concentration. It was not a good throw. The ball was low and behind Thorne, and he got a good bounce. The ball actually bounced off his knee up into his arms. The tight end with the biggest arms in the league. James Thorne. 
Oils those babies up before a game, too. From the 35, here's Anderson, and he's able to swing by Lagerman. And he's bumped out of bounds by James Hasty after a gain of about seven. And Lagerman goes immediately after the referee, complaining that he was held. I mean, he's got to contain on that play. Nothing's supposed to get to the outside on, on Jeff Lagerman, and he got tied up with Stan Thomas, who's back in at left tackle. But he did work upfield, and Thomas was leading on that block, but he grabbed Lagerman just before he made his move to lead the block. Watch Thomas there, and he got him right around the neck. That's what Lagerman was complaining about. I'd have grabbed him by the ponytail. That would slow him down, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> Second and three, Darren Lewis is in the game. He's the fullback and leads the way for Anderson, who picks up a yard or so, and he is stopped by Mark Gunn, the rookie line. Screaming for the football. It would have been wise for Harbaugh to look at him. Gets take over, and Blair Thomas breaks one for a first down. All the way out to the 45-yard line, Donnell Wolford makes the tackle. So the Jets take it out near midfield with 348 remaining in a half in which the game is tied 3-3. 17-yard game. Pretty good move here. <laughs> O'Brien on first and 10 from the 39-yard line. O'Brien goes underneath and hits Terrence Mathis, who gets to the 19-yard line. Stopped by Mark Carrier. When you can run... Richard Dent makes his presence very much felt. Johnny Hector stopped at the 19. Well, they were going to try to trap Richard Dent. <laughs> he beat the trap. <laughs> they brought White, the guard, from the other side, and Richard Dent just shows a little too much quickness. He's going to go around the trap block, and Armstrong comes in from the other side. Now, that's who is playing the receiver. First and goal, and Brand Baxter takes it in for the touchdown. And they're well on their way to making it six. Harbaugh first down to the 22. That's Wendell Davis for a minimal game. Kyle Clifton wraps him up at the 25-yard line. Second and 13 from the 19. Harbaugh, the out pattern to Davis, and uh, he should have... Uh, or is at least close to a first down. Stargell makes the tackle. Yeah, real close. This is all, all on the spot, I think. Stargell giving Davis a lot of room, respecting his speed. Davis with a 75-yard touchdown pass last week against the Giants. I think they're going to come in and measure for this one. A good throw, though, by Jim Harbaugh. Tight spiral right into Wendell Davis's hands. And a fine tackle by Stargell. And Waddle goes in motion. Harbaugh under heat at the 45-yard line. Davis forward progress is too close to the 43, and it's very close to another first down. Stopped by Hasty. Major league delivery there by Harbaugh. He was under a lot of pressure. He was feeling it all around him, and he waited until Davis had made his move. That pass takes a lot of time, and he was right on the numbers with it. Well, the Jets came with the blitz and didn't get there. See Brian Washington come up the middle. He's got to jump out of the way, and that block is really what uh, gave Harbaugh that extra time to get the completion. Second and entry from the 43. And they give it to the rookie, Darren Lewis, who makes a nice move after being initially stopped and takes it out to the 50 for a first down. Tackled by Clifton. Rookie out of Texas A&M. A whirling dervish. <laughs> That's quite a spin move. And of course it worked because there was nobody from the Jet defense coming across in pursuit. You know, defensive coordinator, this terrorizes you on short yardage when a back spins out of it because you're down to usually the last man to make the stop. 13-3 New York. Jets nearly jump. No flag. Harbaugh lost one for a while. That's where a poorly thrown pass ends up being your best friend. Blitz was on it. That amounts to a 28-yard penalty. Anderson on a sweep to the 21. What Take the Jets have had problems with in the past couple of years in this lay, he missed the field goal. Second and five. 
Neil Anderson again. And Anderson diving for that first down. Boy, he, he loves to run left. If you, if you were to run a highlight film of Anderson's career, you know, he can include several touchdowns into the corner of the end zone like last week, and just like that, there's a flag down. And he just about got the first down yardage on that play, but they're going to bring it back. Again. He accelerates so fast. Now watch him plant that left foot. And he just has a tremendous burst out of it, and then he dives. Five-man rush. And the catch is made by Waddle. Good catch. And he gets uh, just about back to the original line of scrimmage. And it's going to make it third and ten. Waddle, of course, playing for an injured Ron Morris. Arthroscopic surgery back in August. The other wide receiver for the Bears for several years. He's not fast. And he's getting a little too much respect from Stargell, who has been playing way off receivers tonight. You know, this Waddle... This guy's got some hands on him, doesn't he? I mean, yeah. this is a kid who's not even drafted. Signs as a, a free agent with the Bears, and he's been quite a find for the guys in blue. Coming up on Saturday. Second and nine. O'Brien. Dax at the 28-yard line. Richard Dent. Better late than never. Dent, who was close once. That's a coverage sack, though. Kenny O'Brien stood in the pocket for quite a while, and Richard Dent finally broke free to the inside and got the late sack. And boy, did the Bears need that. Jeff Criswell overreacts to the outside, and Kenny O'Brien wasn't even close to throwing the ball. And fortunate that he holds on to it because he takes the full brunt of the 270-pound Dent. But Michael made him pull the ball down first, but then Richard Dent comes in. You see McMichael go by. But O'Brien still doesn't have anybody. There's a little nair. <laughs> Second and ten at the 38. At the 49, a nice catch is made by Wendell Davis. A beauty at the 49-yard line on the ground. Well, I, protest. Well, and I think they'll take a look at this upstairs. I mean, this stadium is aware of it. Hasty slips a little bit on this, but he would never have got back for the deflection. Oh, <laughs> That ball was was outside and yeah they're gonna they're gonna stop and take a look at this i mean that's just a, that's great, a great catch, catch. It's fabulous that's but boy that is just superb the call on what hands is a completed for first down you remaining in regulation davis will have a lot of catches this year i don't know if he'll have any better than that mm -hmm. who provided the big play against the Giants, the 75-yard touchdown right before the half. And the sleeping bear begins mm. to awaken. Don't they do this in almost every game? They kind of come out, they look sloppy, they look ugly, and then all of a sudden they start to nip, and all of a sudden they get a big play. The defense will get a turnover, or you'll get a Wendell Davis breaking one big. First down at the 29-yard line. to the 16-yard line. Bears also have history on their side. 22 and 2 in September in the last six seasons. Boy, and give credit to a guy who's been having a tough night and a tough year so far, Stan Thomas, the rookie left tackle. Watch him jump to the outside, and then he's going to pin Lagerman back to the inside. Good work that time by Thomas, who's had his share of misfortune. There's the big rookie from Texas. First down, Chicago at the Jets 16. Jets up by seven. Harbaugh to the eight. Davis again. Short of the first by about two. Brian Washington stops him. 
and if it did not have a receiver, he was eyes were right on Harbaugh all the way. And he made a great tackle right at the goal line. And now the crowd gets into it for the Bears' defense. And the flag goes down after the play. And if this is against Chicago, you can write a finish to this one. And you can see Trace Armstrong oh, getting all over Ron Cox, number 54. Whoa. Cox may just have taken the Bears totally out of the game. Son, I'd head for the tunnel. Oh, I would go over the Jets' side of the field when I leave. You just got to be aware of the situation on the field. And you always call the one who hits back. Mike Ditka and me all lived to 130. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> I'll into that sort of vein. Uh, congratulations to Don Shep. Oh, look at this. Thomas fumbles the ball, and the Bears have it. Steve McMichael comes up with the football. Lordy, lordy, lordy. A minute and 54 seconds left on the clock. strips out the football. Yeah, I've got to know the Bears are going to be tackling that ball. They've got it back. Let's take a look. What? Thomas covers it up. He's got the ball covered up as he goes through the line of scrimmage. I mean, McMichael just rips the ball loose from Blair Thomas. Boy. Well, Steve Another McMichael look. can have free dinners for the rest of the year. On Ron Cox, you're right about that. That's blood all over the thigh pad of McMichael. I don't believe it's his. Third down, 19. Harbaugh throws, and it is somehow caught at the 30 by Tom Waddle. when it looked like when the ball was in the air that Hasty might have an interception. But it's going to be fourth down and about four. Harbaugh runs all the way over to Ditka to ask a question. What a, I mean, what a catch by Waddle. Watch him move in front of Hasty, who just, I mean, that's an interception. He actually collides with Hasty, knocks him out of the way, and makes the catch. They're at the 29-yard line. They have to get to the 25 of fourth down. And they try it with Anderson for a first down to the 21. No timeout. Clock moving 120. Good management of the clock, and they've got plenty of time. Second and ten. They throw it out to Waddle. Waddle! Does he get out of bounds? Yes! Just barely. Stargell. Boy, the tackle. Tackle. Boy, it didn't look like Waddle made it out of bounds. Did I didn't it? think so either, but you saw the official signal he did. Oh, I thought he got tackled inbounds. Yes, sir. In any event, what a game Waddle is playing. Mike Ditka talked about him last night. He said he, we just couldn't do, we couldn't let him go. I mean, he just made great plays in practice. Every time we looked up, he was open. He never drops the football. Plus player. Whoa, he, he didn't got, get out. He yeah. got the feet out. <laughs> just barely. Third and two from the 13-yard line. And it is a first down, Neil Anderson at the eight. First and goal. A minute to play. Sir, again tonight. Anderson, a good receiver out of the backfield. Let's give him a lot of room. Third down and goal. Harbaugh to the five. It's going to be fourth and goal as they have one more play. Washington makes the hit. Now they can't throw it into the ground to stop the clock, obviously. Here's your ball game. Don't lose track of the downs here. One play. Harbaugh. Throw. Touchdown to Anderson. I don't believe this. There's no time on the clock. The second reception of the night. No flags. They still need the extra point to tie it, but I don't believe it. Jim Harbaugh was pressed.
pressure play by a quarterback. Here comes Lagerman from the right side. He hits the turf. What a play by both Neil Anderson and Harbaugh. For what it's worth, they're reviewing it, but clearly it stands. Oh, yeah. And for the Jets, another one gets away, as it did last week against Buffalo. What? Fourth and goal, the last play in regulation. Neil Anderson has to come back to a low ball, dig it out, and roll back into the end zone. Mike Grimm a little late getting there defensively. Rouse in motion. Neil Anderson. Marvin Washington makes the tackle. Gain a full six. And they go with four wide receivers. It's Gentry in motion. Well, they barely beat the clock. Barbara has to get it to his own 49, and he does. Oh. Tom Waddle into Jet territory. <laughs> I mean, that's a throw Harbaugh makes to the only place he could make it. But by making it in that position, it became an extremely difficult catch, and Waddle somehow comes up with it. And Tom Waddle, a guy I don't think the nation is very familiar with, is is really announcing his arrival here tonight. That's he, a tough catch. Then he made a good move to the inside. He drove inside and then came back to the outside. 28 yarder. Drive just started at the 20. They were moving it well. Aguiar puts it down. And Leahy misses it. may live to be 130. And he's been living right, I tell you. From the 20. Barbara throws. Here's Waddle making the catch. And Waddle's trying to get out of bounds, and he does up at the 29-yard line. 343 left. Has Waddle done anything wrong tonight? I mean, this guy. This guy is everywhere. <laughs> Two at the 28. Barbara. To Anderson, a first down to the 39-yard line. Harbaugh wants to go without a huddle. Clock running, three and a half to go, and again they have one timeout. Harbaugh buying time, and at the 46-yard line, that's a first down. Who else? Waddle. Oh, and what a great athletic delivery by Jim Harbaugh. Tom Waddle, W-A-D-D-L-E. I mean, <laughs> get this guy's name down. Where did he come from? And that stops the clock. The third two-minute warning of the game. Not remaining. Blitz and a fumble by Harbaugh. And then he throws, and it's caught by Kozlowski, and he's tackled at the 42-yard line. Davis in motion. Fake gives to Anderson, and a pass to Davis, and he's out of bounds at the 25-yard line. So they're very much that in field goal range. That was a beautiful play. What a well-designed play pulling both linemen from the opposite side, facing, faking the counter play, and then having Harbaugh roll out against the grain. This is a brilliantly designed play. And, and you, Dan, you can do it with a good athlete like Harbaugh. He's totally naked. He has no one out there with him. And he's able to get the ball again to Wendell Davis. They get the first down. They oh. now Kevin last year. The New York Giants against the Giants. Might have been the ugliest game ever played on Monday night. But I mean, might have been. <laughs> Second and nine. Harbaugh on a roll. Harbaugh throwing to Foso. And they end the game with a touchdown. Bears football.
his knee might have touched before the ball goes in the end zone <laughs> and the teams have left the field it would be a fitting climax take a look at this oh. here's cap bozo let's take a look where does his knee his knees down <laughs> his knee is not down i don't think that's a touchdown Harbaugh. Is Bozo in motion? And Harbaugh dives in, and we're waiting for a signal. There is none yet. Now there is, and we think the game is over. Well, well, you believe. Well, we may, who knows, we may review this one. Tim Harbaugh has arrived. Bears win, Bears are unbeaten, and for the Jets, that is as tough a loss as you can ever imagine. Two weeks in a row for the Jets. I mean, that's, yeah, that's a gonna killer. Be, going to be a tough week for them, a, a tough coaching job to pull them back together. Huh? It's going to be a tough season. I mean, this one stays with you for a while. They, they'll say it won't, and they'll say you'll regroup, but when you write the book at the end of the year on the season, this is the kind of game you look at.